If at first you don't succeed, try again. Join us as we transform this Facebook Marketplace shelf into something even more beautiful. Come with us as we struggle, learn, and work together in our little country heaven. so excited we're on our way to pick up the bookshelf that we found i can't wait for you guys to see it we've been looking for one for quite a while we find it uh, we found it on facebook marketplace and we're gonna go pick it up we were specifically looking for a barrister style or lawyer style bookshelf like the one you see here because we really do love the vintage look of the glass and the brass knobs this is the old bookshelf that was here before the one we're putting in. And as you can see, it's way too tall, but this one is gonna be much better. Even though this is laminate, these types of shelves can go for up to $800. So we were grateful to find this one for $50. For the most part, this shelf is in really good condition. It has very good bones, but some corners of the laminate have become unglued from the furniture piece itself and that's what we're going to be repairing today. So on this sunny but very cold day we got started with the sanding. When painting laminate it's really important that you roughen up the surface a little bit so the paint will stick to it correctly. In my case, we did have some pieces that were coming off, so I carefully removed those without detaching the parts that were still good. And then with a sanding block, I sanded the surface so that it would be smooth and it would have a smooth transition from the laminate that was still there and the part that was missing. That way when we paint over it, you won't be able to see it. We do recommend that you take off any hardware, that way you can sand and paint without any issues. Because we decided on a two-tone style where the inside of the shelves will remain its original color, that means that we are now done sanding all the outer parts that will be painted. After you are done sanding, be sure to wipe everything down with a damp cloth, not wet, just damp enough. And for a moment of humor, please join us as we take you through the saga of getting the shelf upstairs.
We highly recommend that you choose a paint that's both primer and paint. That way it will adhere better to the surface and also because it is thicker in texture, it will hide the brush strokes when it dries. Load the paintbrush with enough paint to get smooth runs. That way you won't have patches of thin paint that are so hard to get later. While the paint is still wet, go over it with the paintbrush in different directions to hide the strokes even more. Once the other sides dry, you may raise the shelves so that you can paint on all the underparts that you weren't able to get before. This is one of the parts that we had to repair the laminate where we sanded to create a smooth transition. And as you can see, once you paint it, you can't tell at all. When the paint has dried, install back your hardware. If your paint bleeds over like it happened to me, you can scrape it off with a spatula, eraser, or even use Windex to clean it off. Sometimes, even though we may be busy, it's good to stop and look at the beauty that surrounds us. Sometimes when you remove the tape, a little bit of the paint in the corners can come off. I used a very small paintbrush to touch up those corners. This was the progress at the end of day three. For a while now, we have been planning to give you a tour of the entire loft. And now that this project is well on its way, we are hoping to do that very soon. With a little bit of love and hard work, there is just no telling what just about anything can become. Have you ever tried painting your own furniture or even done laminate furniture before? Tell us in the comments below.
the perfect touch to style this bookshelf is putting some movies, a little plant, and also some pictures of Jose and I in our music endeavors. I can't think of anything more befitting for this space. As you may already know, Jose and I are music teachers. And on concert days, we often go help each other out with the kids and any other details as needed. Here's a picture of me conducting and also a picture of Jose and I playing. I actually started playing violin when I was already an adult and went on to go really far, something that most people thought impossible. It's a very interesting and inspiring story. If you want to hear more about it, tell us in the comments below. And this is the final result. I just couldn't be any happier with it. Thank you for watching.